Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Saber the Budget Easter here, and thank y'all so much for watching this video. So today I'm bringing you another budget-friendly wig video, but this is a little bit different. This is going to be an actual DIY crochet wig that I made myself for the first time in life, I made my own crochet wig. So I'm really so excited about that. So if you're interested and you want to see my final thoughts of this wig, how I feel about the hair, and all of that, make sure you keep watching. Also, don't forget, okay, to hit that red subscribe button. Girl, get into it if you're new to my channel. To all my oldies but goodies, thank y'all for watching and subscribing and watching me. All right, on to the video. First off, let me just give a shout out to Sam's Beauty and say thank you so much for actually sending me this hair. They actually reached out to me and let me choose um, some hair and I chose this hair to make. So I was really excited that they even reached out to my little small channel. Um, like I said, thank y'all so much. So let's get into the hair. I'm going to give you all the details. Um, if you haven't already seen how I made it, make sure you rewind and go back. But I'm going to give you the specs, what my final thoughts are about this hair, and all of that good stuff. Okay, so as you can see in the video, um, I did make a, I attempted to make a crochet wig. This is actually my first time, y'all, making a crochet wig. So I was really super excited, kind of, you know, like nervous at the same time because I'm not really good with cutting hair. Um, I'm not any type of stylist or anything like that, so I kind of... I kind of demolished, not demolished, but I I was I was doing too much at first. So I kind of had to end up fixing the hair because honestly, I started chopping away too much hair and I was so happy that I actually had hair left over to kind of fix the problems that I created. So, 
This hair um, is none other from Freak Line. It is their Curl Crush line. I did get it in the style Kenzie Curl 20 inch and I think the L stands for large. I got it in the color TT1B30. So this is how the box will look. It comes with 20 pieces each um, hair in every box that you get. I got five boxes total. And also on the side, it shows you the different, I think, yeah, it shows you the different styles of curl pattern that they have available on the model and how it looks. I got this one, which is the last one, which is like the most um, value, voluminous um, curl pattern. It's big barrel curls or big spiral curls. And then on the opposite side, it actually shows you the hair itself and the, um, for every different curl pattern that they have so if you're interested in a smaller curl you can definitely check that out on the website i'll make sure to leave a link down below to where you can purchase this hair and also make sure to annotate it somewhere in this video how much the hair actually costs so as i stated i bought five packs of hair i wanted to make sure i had enough because i feel like more is better in this case um, just in case I make a mistake which I end up making that mistake so I actually got um, an idea of making this wig because I was looking on like my Facebook page right and I saw this old hairstyle that I had a few years ago when I had hair when I had long hair and I'll make sure to leave a picture so that way you can see that that picture of my hair and I was Like, oh my God, I love the way my hair looked that, that day. So I wanted to kind of like mimic that hairstyle. And I tried, but I kind of, it, it didn't go the way I wanted it to go. But that's okay. I still love the way the hair turned out. So um, basically with the crochet wig, it didn't take me very long. It only took me about an hour. I actually sat in front of my TV and started to just go away and started making this wig. It was quite easy to crochet the hair onto the wig because I got a crochet cap. Um, the cutting part for me though was the most challenging because like I said, I'm not good at cutting at all. So I didn't really know how to style or cut, but I did end up fixing that with adding some more hair that I had left over that I needed because I started cutting way too short in the front. So I kind of tried to, you know, style it a little bit and cut it and stuff like that and I ended up with this hair and I actually love it the most I really really do so as far as the the hair itself it is on the more kinky and coarse side the hair is not soft at all I will say that so if you are not a big fan of very um coarse kinky hair you you're not gonna like this hair at least this style of hair that I got which is the Kinsey curl um it is more on the coarse side but I don't mind it because I feel like it's supposed to be that way so that it can give you that very big full hair that you're looking for and because it's it looks more natural to me just like just that it looks more natural to me so I don't mind that it's that coarse because I feel like if it was on the softer side it wouldn't be as big and it wouldn't hold um a, as good of a curl as it's doing right now so as you saw in the video of me making the wig I did start to separate the strands of hair only once so for each um uh piece of hair that I had you know, like when you crochet, you end up with two pieces that are tied together or whatever. I separated those pieces only one time and that was it. I didn't want to go too full and too big because I don't like hair to be too big on me because I'm very petite and small. But I only separated the hair one time and I love the way that it's separated. It's separated really easy. I did get a couple of knots sometimes because the hair, like I said, is on the more coarse and hard side. But I didn't get a lot of that throughout the whole wig when I was separating the hair. As far as the color go, I love the fact that it starts off with a 1B and then it transitions into a 30 um, because that's more natural looking to me at least. And I love the color of this hair. It's definitely fall-like hair, winter-like hair. It's all, all of that in one. So um, moving on to um, the end result of this hair. 
So overall, as I stated, I really do love this hair. It's a kind of hairstyle that you can just pretty much plop on your hair and go out the door. You don't have to do anything to it because once you style it the way you want it to style, you can take it off your hair, put it on the mannequin's head at night, wake up the next morning, plop it on your head, and go out the door. You don't have to do much to this hair because it's pretty much going to do its own thing being that it's so, you know, big and curly and all of that. And I love it. Um, as far as the pricing go, the pricing, the price goes for this hair, I feel like it's a decent price. I feel like you would probably pay that much for any kind of uh, crochet hair that you get in the store or online. So the price to me is definitely average pricing. Um, as far as the overall feel of this hair, um, I I love it, but I will say because the hair is on the kinky coarse side, it's not going to last as long. I do feel like it's going to mat up really bad probably in the back. So I do feel like this wig is probably going to probably only last me about a month-ish, depending on how many times I wear it. Um, if you like this kind of hair and let's say that you make it yourself and you fall in love with it, I will recommend to probably buy some more packs so you can make a fresh wig or something because overall the hair will probably start to kink up or not up on you. Um, but otherwise than that, that is my final thoughts on this wig. Um, thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and say, hey girl, hey, down below. Um, alright, I will be seeing y'all on the next video. Bye.